as far as stories that affect young people, um, the one I use the mo most is called the Half Boy story. And it's um, oh, probably 10,000 year old, what I call a folk myth. Um, down, you find it down in New Zealand and places like that. And what happens in it is a child is born, but only half of it is born. Um, you know, the left half with the left leg and the left hip and the left side and the left arm and the left half of the head with the left eye, but the other part doesn't get born. And so maybe for that reason, the child's screaming quite a bit. Um, and maybe because it's screaming, but maybe because only half of it is there, people don't like to look at it. And the more people turn away from it, the louder it screams. And the louder it screams, the more people turn away. And so the child grows without getting much attention. And somehow he grows anyway, even though there's only half of him. And when he comes to be uh, like a youth, um, even his family won't look at him. And so he decides to leave the village, and he has to drag himself out of the village, and no one notices him going and all that. And then he g comes upon a river, and he's dragging himself along the bank of the river, and he sees someone coming towards him, and he squeezes, he only has that one eye, he squeezes his eye down to see if it's a person or what it is, and he realizes it's a person, but as they get closer, he realizes it's a half person. As a matter of fact, it's a person with a right eye and a right shoulder and a right arm and a right leg, and now the right half is coming to the left half, and, and you think because they're gonna come together, everything, they'll live happily ever after, but no, they begin to fight with each other and they have a huge conflict and they start off a big dust storm and then in the big battle the two of them roll into the water and the heat of their conflict is so great that the water begins to pile up wave upon wave and then after a while it just settles down and everything looks the way it would on any given day but there's no sight of the half boy either the half of the left or the half of the right and then after a while and we don't know how long the river boils up again and then out of it comes the half boy but now the two halves are together and, but he's so disoriented because he's never had two halves before and he can't figure out where he is or what's going on. And he sees a village and stumbles towards it and sitting outside the village is an old man with one foot outside the village and one foot inside the village. And he stumbles up and he says, listen, I'm confused, you know. I got in this big conflict and now I don't know where I am or, or where I'm at or anything. And the old man says, well, I can tell you where you are. Where? And he says, you're right back where you started. You're back at the village that you started at. But now, since you're whole, if you and I entered the village together, you being very young and me being old, if we dance into the village together, then the whole village will begin to dance again because no one has danced since you left. So the half boy and the old elder join together and they dance into the village and the whole village comes out and dances. So that's a little, little story. And uh, so to me, of course, it shows the half village, which doesn't recognize its own children, like we were talking about. Like the modern consuming culture just wants those children to be half of who they are so they can sell them, sell them the other half and exploit them. And, uh, and then, then there's the whole village. And in the whole village, everybody's dancing together. So the whole village has a different religion, you could say. They have a religion where everybody dances, not a religion where everybody just holds on to their own narrow idea of the world. You could say that fundamentalists are half boys grown up, but they didn't grow up very well. Only half of them grew up. The half they have is the dogmatic half. The half they have is the we know what the truth is half. They don't have the imaginal, the imaginal half. They don't have the emotional half, and they don't have the half that's willing to dance with everybody else. So anyway, when I tell a story like that, the kids all get it. You know, they right away say, well, I'm the half boy. You know, or I'll say, um, anybody know what the river is? And inevitably someone would say alcohol, drugs, depression, all the kid, things kids struggle with, violence, they'll all call that the river. And I'll say, yeah, and guess what? Everybody goes into the river. The question is whether you come out whole or not. 